So one of the non-hunting experiences that we had on this trip is to uh, fire a 50 caliber BMG. And that's always been a dream of mine. I'm a gun fanatic and I've always wanted to fire a Barrett. And we had the opportunity to do so. We brought out the Barrett, had a target set up quite a distance away. And uh, man, it was exciting. That felt good. It was that earlier. It's a little intimidating just watching the first couple guys shoot it just from the sound factor. But uh, once you finally get behind the trigger and you're able to pull it, it's a rush. So this is ultimately the icing of the cake for our trip. As you can see, there's trees down there, and here, this way, see the houses back there? Yeah, we got hit by a tornado pretty much, so, you know, we had a great hunt so far, and, uh, you know, it would be a great hunting trip without some, some harsh weather and whatnot. But we're all safe, everyone's safe here. Um, all the neighbors came together and uh, were able to get people out of the houses or whatnot. Four or five houses here that got taken out. Uh, man, what a, what a trip. Tornadoes to goats to hogs and everything in between. Yep, that's our hotel. You and our chimney blew down. And our sign blew down. That's awesome. But we're okay. There are goats, so your guts push forward. Don't shoot behind the shoulder, shoot through the shoulder. Like like on a deer with a bow, you hit him right here behind the shoulder. Yeah, you know, right away. Yeah, saying right through. Right through. After an already exciting morning, Oliver got a great hog. Uh, I was up to up, up to bat, and uh, we found a good group of goats and went after them. And you know, I, I told JD I wanted a white one with like a black face. And we, we looked around a while, and we managed to find one exactly what I was looking for. And uh, we managed to get into position. And at first, you know, I'm shooting a brand new TC I just got uh, and a TC Impact, and you know, I'm shooting open sight, so I wanted to shoot, I didn't want to shoot any further than 100 yards. And right out of the gate, man, we got so lucky with this. Uh, a herd of goats were coming right at us and, and happened to have a white one, just like I was wanting. Oh, here comes yours, here comes yours, here comes yours. I want you to shoot hill. You stepped out a big one, sir. You got black on the face, is that what you like? I know. started feeding right down this this trail right towards us and uh, the one split off going to the left and you know I just double checked they got him on camera and uh, wait for him to present a perfect shot and <laughs> honestly it was a chip shot 70 yards and absolutely buried it Go, Catalina, go. Your anchor go down Betters, Texas. Now 
about Jake, son. The one he was looking at is coming to us. We're gonna get out. Get ready. Broke the new smoke ball. I like it. It's awesome. Ian was the first up and found himself a real nice goat and laid a great shot on it. Then it was my turn. It took us a couple of minutes to find a good herd with a goat that I liked in it. And when we finally did, it took us a little bit, to, a little bit of hiking to get to him. We had to cross the valley, come up a hill a good ways, and uh, get tucked into some brush and wait for him to come out in the open. White goat. Him. Him. When my goat finally came out, he offered just a great shot, perfect broadside, about 100 yards. And as soon as I saw him, it kind of went down pretty quick. And uh, walking up to him was probably one of the most incredible hunts I've ever been on. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice, dude. Yes. <laughs> Try it, dang. 4570 didn't work. Nice job. Oh, man. <laughs> Sweet. Just dropped him. Oh, man. A rush, ain't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Huge <laughs> rush. All right, so this is our first day in down here in uh, Cristobal, Texas with uh, Angry Goat Outfitters. Uh, we've seen about 500 goats so far. Found this guy in a group uh, and uh, they're coming down a hill. We were able to kind of follow a valley, get ahead of them and uh, up onto another hill. They come up right in front of us, offer just a perfect shot on it. This hunt is honestly one I'll never forget and uh, I look forward to coming down in future years. Uh, I know next year I'd like to come down and, and just for fun, get with some friends together and do some predator hunting. But uh, even more, I'd like to get uh, an access deer with JD. You know, that's one of the things he offers. That's something I've always dreamt of doing. So I think that's the next thing I'm going to do next time I come down here. And heck, I'll probably even bring my bow and uh, maybe even I'll get a Catalina with that. Y'all see all that? Yeah. Welcome to my life. Go to Palooza.